Great as were their concerns and their efforts over the form and conduct of the Masters Tournament, there was one thing Bob Jones and Cliff Roberts never worried about come each springtime in Augusta, Georgia. That was the quality of golfing spectacle the tournament would offer its attending patrons and in more recent years, the massive audiences who watch it on television. Something exciting or unusual always happens, Mr. Roberts was fond of saying, and he was right. In all its 42 years, the Masters has never failed at some point or in some way to make the pulses race and the vocal cords work overtime. This year will not be an exception. As a flirtatious breeze softened and died into idyllic weather after the first day, the red numerals that indicate under par scores increasingly dominated Augusta National's giant leaderboards. After two rounds, all 53 players who survived the cutoff from the starting field of 78 lay within 10 shots of the joint leaders Lee Trevino and Rod Funsif. After three rounds, 28 golfers have scored par or better. They are led by the reigning United States Open champion, Hubert Green, whose immaculate 65 on this golden third day has placed him 10 under par three shots ahead of Rod Funson and defending champion Tom Watson. Good scoring conditions make catch-up golf extremely difficult in a field of master's caliber. But behind the three leaders lay a number of golfers who do not intend to let that factor deter them. Sunday, the final round. Seven shots back among those trailing is the man from South Africa, Gary Player. Coming into this Masters, Player in 25 years of tournament golf has amassed 111 victories around the world. It's now nearly four years, however, since Gary has won in the United States. Newspaper comments about a fading star have got his dander up. At 42, with victories in recent months in the World Cup and the South African Open, his 11th, and the competitive fires flaming fierce as ever within that small frame, Gary does not see it that way at all. As always, the Masters brings together the finest golfers from all over the world. Paired with the South African in this final round is 21 years old today Spanish star Severiano Ballesteros, winner of 20 professional tournaments around the globe before he even got the key to the door. Top United States golfers are predicting greatness for this charismatic fellow from Europe's fastest growing golfing nation. Gary's 30 feet beyond the hole here at number four. With the birdie on the second, he's still six shots behind leader Hubert Green. Number five, Green approaching. Hubert has a record and reputation as a strong front runner. He's three putted the first green from 60 feet. 
but birdied the second hole off a fine bunker shot to get back to 10 under. Too strong, bunkered. Winning or losing, these undulations are always part of Hubert's game. The tour players vary in their swing triggers, but you'll notice the good ones always repeat their own personal preparatory routine on every shot. Hubert's an excellent sand player. Some players have talked of slower than normal greens this year, but Hubert Green's previous scores of 72, 69, 65 would seem to indicate they were certainly within his capabilities. Funsif has this for par to remain at eight under. Rod, too, has handled the greens well for three days. He's an excellent tough course player. Green's bogey at five cuts his lead to one shot over the defender, Tom Watson, and another man who figured prominently here last year, Bill Kratzert. Funsif and David Graham are still very much in it at seven under. After bogeying the par five eighth hole after a visit to the woods, player birdied nine to go five under. This is the 10th hole to go six under. Still three off the pace with eight to play, but there's one thing for sure, it's that Claire doesn't think he's out of contention yet. Gary's attitude is that a golf tournament is never over until he's actually beaten. It won him his first Masters in 1961, when Arnold Palmer took six on the final hole, and it won him a second in 1974, when no less than eight golfers seem to have excellent prospects on the final nine holes. Green certainly isn't romping away with it, as some suspected he might do, but he's hanging in there with his usual tenacity. Tom Watson's parred six straight holes to remain one back of Hubert along with Bill Kratzert. Australian David Graham shot 34 on the front to lie two back at seven under along with Rod Funsif. Gary missed the green to the right here at 11, which might have been a deliberate safety strategy with today's intimidating pin positions. Well, it may be a cliche that golf is a game of inches, but it's also the truth and a harsh one at times. Still six under, and now four shots back of leader green after Hubie birdied the eighth hole. A number of players have said that 14 is the fastest green on the golf course this week. Funseth to the 14th. Thirty feet and downhill all the way. Green with almost the same shot. Hill putt, a much happier result. This for 11 under. 
this to regain sole possession of the lead. Watson to 15. Oh, this looks like a marvelous shot. If Tom Birdie's here, he'll be right back in the log jam. If he eagles, he'll lead by one. takes Tom back to 10 under. Green with four to play is also 10 under. Hunseth also with four to play is nine under. And Gary Player is 10 under with one hole to play. That's 17 out of 18 greens player has hit in regulation or better today. The Masters 18 hole record is 64 and the back nine record is 30. If he makes this, he ties both those records. Gary is 15 feet from the hole. The hare is home. Now for the hounds. Watson has played a lovely six iron shot to the 16th. Eleven under, tied with player, two holes to go. Green to the 15th and a must shot if there ever was one. with much the same shot. Both players heard that mighty roar for Gary's 18th hole birdie. They both know exactly what they have to do. under par and tied with player and Watson. Three holes to go. Rod needs this to go ten under to have a fighting chance. Both men hit the green at the par three sixteenth. Hubert has much the more difficult putt coming up. Tie. 
try again. The silence here is electric. You can almost hear the hearts thumping. Watson at 17 and tied with player. A birdie at this moment one year ago won him the Masters. Tom's partner, Gene Littler, had a chance after three rounds, but is tired on the back nine today. If Tom pars 18, he and Gary will begin the playoff on number one. Green and Funsif now each need a birdie in their last two holes to make it a foursome. Tom hit a four-wood from the tee to be short of the fairway bunker, but he's hooked it badly into the trees and the crowd. He has a long and difficult shot to get anywhere near the hole. Four on the left. Ask the Masters field for the toughest spot to get up and down in and two from around the 18th green. And this would probably be the area they would nominate. That's a fine shot considering how Watson must be feeling after his two previous efforts. He cutted the ball incidentally, the British style, bump and run shot. Tom zigzags have forced Green and Funsif to wait on the 18th fairway. Both have hit superb drives. This to tie. This to launch the first Masters sudden death playoff. Green must birdie to tie. He's hitting an eight iron. Oh my, oh my, is that a golf shot to be remembered? Funsif must also birdie to tie. This to tie from exactly where Gary made his putt. Now, this to tie from two and a half feet almost straight in. Oh dear. Herbert, here's something on the tower by the 18th green. from two and one half feet. And so again, 
as so frequently it has with the final stroke of Bob Jones and Cliff Roberts' masterly creation, the almost unbearable drama abruptly ends, bringing great joy to one, satisfaction perhaps to some, and for a while at least, the hard emotions of what might have been to those who came so close. Again. Gary Player, his 21st Masters appearance. Seven shots back at the start of this final day. Seven birdies in the last 10 holes. Nine in the 18. A record tying 30 on the back and a record tying 64 for the 18. Nine golfers caught and finally passed. Three Masters titles. Nine major championships. 112 victories around the world. At 42 years, five months and eight days, the oldest man ever to win at Augusta National. An athlete of athletes, a champion of champions.